हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू प्ले स्टेशन डो चैनल तो ये अलॉन इन द डार्क का दूसरा चैप्टर है अगर आपसे पहला चैप्टर मिस हो गया तो वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में पहले चैप्टर का लिंक है तो वहाँ जाके आप चेकआउट कर सकते हैं तो पहले चैप्टर की स्टोरी में एमिली के अंकल जिन्होंने बताया है कि कोई मास्क मैन है जो उनका हमेशा पीछा करता रहता है और उन पर निगरानी रखता है तो इन सभी की जानकारी के लिए हम न्यू ओलियंस में पहुंचे और यहाँ हमें बहुत सारे ऑब्जेक्टिव और पजल्स को क्लियर करते हुए गेम में दूसरे चैप्टर की ओर बढ़ेंगे तो चलिए दूसरे चैप्टर में अब देखते हैं स्टोरी में आगे और क्या है और कैसे नई नई पजल्स या ऑब्जेक्टिव मिलने वाले हैं और अगर वीडियो पसंद आए तो लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब ज़रूर कीजिएगा Detective Carnby, how did you? Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you? Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective. I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something out with this talisman. I think I can follow Jeremy the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Terroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. This talisman brought me back from the French quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Terroea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Centric. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations.
got it. What happened? Detective Conby had a hard time understanding what had happened. It did feel similar to when he was pulled into the French Quarter, but with less power and purpose. Everything stained. Looks like some kind of... This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing some pieces. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Briglow, 1917. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elijah Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans.
got it. Nice. I think I've seen this somewhere. something in the commonplace book about this. There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room.
made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Hmm.
Looks pretty weak. I just need something to break it.
rather f mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He might be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Oh, here we go again. What? Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of Went shut. It worked. The Barlow Lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your t I don't think I have everything I need. What's 
this? Wedge shut. It worked. There's something missing. This must be that... Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Kids' room. Why does she seem so familiar? Huh. out there. You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. 
It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Miss... For some reason, I thought she died years ago. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. I don't think I have everything I need. It's another one of those strange padlocks.
Why did that girl look so familiar? Detective Comby just couldn't quite remember. His last few years were clouded by a drunken haze, a haze which now had turned almost opaque. Considering their shared past, Grace had every right to feel slighted, but it wasn't in her nature. She was amused. Why did that girl look so familiar? Detective Comby just couldn't quite remember. His last few years were clouded by a drunken haze. A haze which now had turned almost opaque. Consi
Mr. Waits. I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. I assure you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I promise I didn't, you. I, Mr. Hotwood is I'm nowhere near my for... kitchen and neither should you be. Don't well, make I, me I kick didn't mean you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Combi was in shock, but also a little embarrassed. The housekeeper was furious to find him searching.
Jeremy. Where's the body? Black glass is showing another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this.
Hartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. this now what do we got here got it Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though.
It's blocked.
many of them. Gotta get out of here. That can't be right. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. Oh, keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with some. The dark man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But 
least the evil are about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that gossip place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you with all your knowledge you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in... Jeremy did... Dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. Will I need to remember how... Starday Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them.
What's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. 
The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. More of that aggressive rock. On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone. 